Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm here to address a dirty lie that's been going around that 4C hair is hard to manage and you should just slap a weave on it because it takes longer. So I'm gonna show you how I do my 4C hair with two things. Spray bottle of water, Eco Styler gel or anything else you might find. The gel or moisturizer doesn't matter, it's the technique that matters. So stop wasting your money um, buying all these hair care products that do the same thing. Okay. So you see my hair, this is what it looks like when I first wake up in its natural state, all matted down. You can still kind of see the curls, but everything's really frizzy and just tight right now. So like, be gentle with your hair, don't pull at it, just let it do whatever it wants. First step is you grab a section of hair, take your spray bottle of water, Just for the record, I'm not mixed with anything. I'm black mixed with black. And to take it a step further, I'm African from Liberia. So all that good hair nonsense is just what it is, nonsense. So you add water. Keep adding water until it feels like it's ready to work with you. And then you rub the water in, so make sure you're working in all of that moisture that you just added. If you need to separate it, separate it gently. If it doesn't want to be separated, leave it alone. Don't be a bully. Okay. Now that there's water in there, doesn't matter, cold, hot, what kind of water you put in there. Okay, so from this to this, just using water, just working in the water. Shrinkage happens, but it's okay. Then you take a decent amount of Eco Styler gel and add that to the section. Now this is the part where you can actually do a lot of the detangling because the gel makes it easier to manage. So yeah, you can separate them, do them in sections. I know a lot of people call this the shingling method. Well, some people call it the shingling method, but I mean, I'm not really shingling. I'm just rubbing it in because I'm lazy. Like I can't do my hair for three hours anymore. I got things to do. What? Okay. So yeah, you work that in. And let me see. You can see the curls starting to do good things. Separate that. So yeah, no more of this 4C hair is hard to manage nonsense. I don't want to hear it. 4C hair is good hair. 4C hair is beautiful hair. Those tight coils, they pop. And you don't need to have 4A or 3C or 4B hair for it to be beautiful. 4C hair pops by itself, point blank, period. Okay, yeah. So yeah, this is one section. And like you saw, all I'm doing is putting it in water and then putting in my gel, making sure each time I do something with it, I just rub that product in all the way so it's not just sitting on my hair. The reason it seems like products don't work on 4C hair is because um, people just put it on and don't work it in. Like if I just put lotion on my skin and I don't rub it in, it's not gonna do anything. So yeah, so this is before. This is after, and this ain't even the good part yet. So now I'm gonna do the rest of my hair, and you can watch if you want. I can speed it up. I'm probably gonna speed it up, but I'm gonna talk a little bit more. Um, with the way I do my hair, this lasts me about a week. 
So it takes like, let's say like 30 minutes because I get impatient and then like you saw how small this section was. I'm doing it a lot bigger on the side. Um, I get impatient, but what I like to do is I like to style it like this at the beginning of the week, probably on like Monday or Tuesday. And then I go ahead and I, um, after I style it, I just leave it like that and just every time I wash my hair, it actually looks more popping. So, so if you, you're doing a bigger section, just use more gel. It's not that big deal. And like I'd say the amount of hair gel you use doesn't matter because if you're not, like I'm not using another product on underneath this, a moisturizer or anything because I found that that makes your hair white and like flaky, but like just the hair gel and water works perfectly fine for me. If it doesn't work for you, maybe you can let me know and we'll figure out what does, but like this is what works for me. I'm not going to say this is a disclaimer, I'm not a doctor or anything like that, I'm not a doctor yet, but like if it doesn't work for you, try something else. I don't know what to tell you, honey, but it will work because hair care companies are just trying to take your money and all the beauty industry is is making profit off of people's insecurities so don't go out and buy eco styler gel because you see me using eco styler gel use whatever you have in your house if it's a moisturizer use that just make sure you're working the products into your hair that's the whole point If at any time you feel like your hair is still hard to manage, even though you put a decent amount of gel, put water. So put gel, I mean put water, then gel. Spray a little bit more water. If that doesn't work. Put a little bit more gel or spray a little more water. They work very well together. And the best part is it's curly hair, so it doesn't have to be perfect because they're just gonna be layered on top of one another. And I think we need to take off those labels as like 4C and 3A and all that stuff. I think it's just called curly hair. So whatever works for one should work for the other. I like to make sure that my hair gets wet every single night. So like when I shower, I like to get my hair wet so that it's not dry, brittle, and breaking off. So yeah, like see, this one doesn't feel like doing it. I don't care. I'm just gonna let it do whatever it wants. So now, you hear that sound? That's a sound I like. That's how I know that my product is like getting in there. See that? Saw something that was like banana and um, garlic, which like if it works, it works, but ugh. I can only imagine the smell. It's like vampire repellent, but maybe the banana is able to overpower the smell of the garlic. Maybe, maybe, I don't know. One mistake I sometimes make is I don't get to my root just because I don't really do braids or anything that, like that anymore. So like my roots, my scalp tends to be a little sensitive so I leave it alone. But yeah, this is 4C hair people. And the longer it gets, the looser your curls look because of gravity. So I don't really believe in that 4C hair nonsense. And this is the part that I just did. So it's not as long as my current section. You could try to prevent shrinkage. I don't really care. I like my shrinkage. All right, we're gonna move up. I'm timing this because I wanna see how long it actually takes. 
probably gonna speed it up later ouch so like here I'm not forcing it I'm not using a comb I'm just you know parting it as my hair wants to go just nice and easy there's my scalp little scalp okay so do the same thing here Like I said, this isn't even the important part. This is just me getting the product in my hair. Look, this is, this is how much hair I'm grabbing. Okay, so spray it with water. That was a lot of water. I'm gonna shower soon, so it doesn't matter. I know you heard those notes. I know you heard those notes. <laughs> okay. So I took a pretty big section, so I'm going hand with the gel. <laughs> I don't like brushing my hair or combing my hair because I feel like that encourages a lot of frizz. But if I'm like washing it in deep conditioning, I like to comb because it takes out like the tiny tangles. But your fingers work just as well. Like when I say I like to comb, I don't like to comb. I'll do it with conditioner in my hair, but I'd rather not. So yeah, you just take a big, big area. The only reason it seems hard to manage is because when it's dry, um, it gets a little matted because it's like your hair is like a slinky and it, it coils on top of itself like this. Oops. If it coils on top of itself, it seems like it's a lot denser than it is. Once you put enough water and product into it, it starts to elongate from the root and then it's just like everyone's out, every, everyone else's hair because like God didn't make a mistake when he made you. So it's not like black people were made inferior to anyone. We were made perfectly and wonderfully. So this is how you do your hair. Even though years of nonsense has taught you that your hair is so different, you need to specifically go to a certain store to buy products that work for your hair. That's all nonsense. Use gel, use shampoo, use conditioner, So, yeah. And as you can see, this is not maximum effort at all. This is me doing the same thing over and over. You get a little, little bit of shedding, but ne not nearly as much as you would if you were combing or brushing it. So, you can see, this is what I was saying. I, I neglect my, my roots. So, I'll just put it in there. what it does it just sits okay now add a little bit more water to the roots because that's the part I forgot to do oh yes girl yes 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 and I am very impatient and I have a lot of things to do so I don't want to spend forever doing my hair so right now we're on 13 minutes and 50 seconds, not to mention the fact that I talked for a lot. Well, not a lot, but like a little bit of it in the beginning. And what you can do is if you get too much hair gel, like me sometimes, you can go ahead and just let it get on hair that you've already done. Because like I said, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. So like this is for if you want it, if you want your hair defined. Sometimes I want my hair defined. Sometimes I want it just regular. Yeah, and if it ever gets tangled, just work with it. Be patient. Just pull out individuals and you're good. 
Okay, well, I was going to say this wasn't the best part. Um, what I usually do is after I wash my hair like this, I mean after I, wow, after I do my hair like this, I go in the shower and the steam from the shower just does like this magic trick where it gets the gel to go deeper into my hair and it makes it look kind of like this actually. So for all the little black girls that have always wanted to do that, there you go. There's the secret. There's the secret. Okay. Don't judge me. I'm sitting here doing this in front of a camera. There's no one in the room with me. It's weird. It's awkward, but whatever. Ouch. See, like, this is why I don't like combing my hair because even here, like, this is my hand and I don't like pulling on my scalp. Okay. I was gonna move the camera up. Yeah, I'm gonna move the camera up. Okay. Cool. I like that. Yeah, look at my uh, before, after. Four C hair rocks, people. Four C hair rocks. They tried to tell us that it didn't. Some of us believed them. Some of us took a little longer to be convinced that we were perfect just the way we are. But we back, baby. We back. And part of this Black Lives Matter movement is changing the way black people see themselves. So here, I'm not forgetting my roots this time. Ah, don't forget to ruse people. Um, that was metaphorical and like literal for the hair situation. So yeah, I coat it. See that? When you don't rub it in, absolutely nothing happens. And then you're like, oh my god, I, I put gel in my hair and it's not working like the YouTubers. Yeah, that's because you didn't rub it in, girl. Or boy, whoever you are. So spray. So there's no such thing as good hair. It's not like God made a certain group of people. You don't even have to, if you don't believe in God, okay, but like you weren't created less beautiful than other people. There's no reason why. Like, okay, here's my thing. I was always like, there's no reason why God would make my face prettier than everyone else's and not like and make my hair subpar that doesn't make sense like because hair seems like an objective thing like face at least it's like some people think this is pretty some people think that is pretty there's no way he made your hair to like not be able to be conditioned and not be able to do um all these things i mean our hair always already does more things than other people because it is versatile and we can do braids and it'll hold that but like there was no reason why I felt like um, the same conditioner and products that you worked on some people's hair wouldn't work on mine like curly people's hair so like the conditioner and the shampoo I don't think are super important yeah I don't think the conditioner and shampoo are super important Conditioner cleans and shampoo. I mean, conditioner um, conditions and shampoo and cleans. So it's like like saying like lotion works different on different kinds of skin. Like no, you have dry skin, you have oily skin, you have combination skin. There's no four C, three C, three A, two A hair. You have curly hair, you have straight hair, you have wavy hair. And this is curly hair, by the way. So like here, I could, I could pour more gel. I just, I don't like to put too much gel because I don't like, um, I sweat throughout the day because I sometimes work out, <laughs> sometimes. But like, I don't like to put too much gel because I don't want like to sweat gel into my eyes. 
But once again, that's what eyebrows are for. Thank you, creation. Well, thank you, creator. So yeah, like if you see it like that, probably means you need to detangle a little better. I think we get it, right? I can fast forward now.
so now there's gel in my hair what I'm going to do next is hop in the shower I don't know how long this part is gonna last because I don't really like hair touching my face so we'll see about that but hop in the shower um, what I do is I let the steam get into my hair and if it's the way I want I just let it just be steam but if I feel like the curl the like texture I want isn't there then I let like a little bit of water touch my hair or like I'll put a little bit of the hot water in my hands and then run it through my hair um, all right so I'm gonna shower and then I'm gonna be back okay I'm back um, okay this is go shower hair I didn't bother getting it wet because like I didn't feel like dealing with wet hair on my neck I got places to be like I said I got things to do so this is what it looks like I guess the finished product I'm probably going to pin this up or something because I don't like hair on my face but yeah so I mean I you saw me before you watched me do it there's no tricks kick tricks or gimmicks um, yeah this is what happens I got like Oh, you can't even see. I usually have like heat damage in the front. I don't know if you can see that a little bit, but it's gotten better with time. So yeah, once again, 4C hair is beautiful. 4C hair is part of who you are, even though I don't think there's 4C hair, but regardless of the fact, 4C hair is not unmanageable. It's not unruly. You shouldn't just give up if you have 4C hair. Joelle, shut up. Shut up. And 4C hair does grow because here is my hair right now. And I need to stretch it out a little bit. That's what you get. So ah, go back, go back, go back. But yeah, if it feels like weird, you just shake it out. And those curls pop on me. Alright, thank you for watching. Have a great day. I know people usually do like the big reveal with makeup, but I'm not wearing it because I'm not wearing it throughout my day and I'm not doing my makeup for YouTube, so enjoy.